Well, day one of the 2013 Australian Sides Championships is drawing to a close here at the Bendigo Bowls Club and the opening morning of play proved to be an interesting one with the 2011 Ali Shield winners, the men from New South Wales, winning two of their rinks and drawing in the other one while their counterparts on the other side of the green, the women from New South Wales, the defending Marge Morris trophy holders won all three of their matches. It's been a great day's play. We've caught up with a few people from around the Greens this afternoon. One of them is the newly crowned Male Bowler of the Year, Mark Casey at Saturday night's Hall of Fame and Awards evening. Kelvin Kirko, OAM, he is a Hall of Fame inductee and returns to the Australian Sides Championships after a two year sabbatical. And we also caught up with Broad Beach's Sean Ingham, who also won on Saturday night. He won the Under 18 Male Bowler of the Year Award. But first, let's chat to Mark Casey. Well, Mark, this week in Bendigo started off beautifully for you um, off the green, winning the Male Bowler of the Year. Congratulations, a great achievement for what was a great 2012. Yeah, obviously it's a great honour and privilege to win an award such as that. So uh, yeah, Saturday night was a great night for me, and um, you know I think everyone enjoyed themselves. It was, was really good. 2012 was a great year for the entire Australian team, but you as well. The World Championships are highlight towards the back end of the year. Yeah, definitely. 2012 uh, will go down as my greatest year ever. I think so. Uh, on the green, it was fantastic, and and off it, you know, I had a, I had a good year as well. So um, yeah, I'll definitely remember that year. The man you're up against is a good mate of yours, Brett Wilkie. Uh, the top end of the Australian team at the awards where uh, Aaron Sheriff won the International Bowl of the Year, you're against uh, Brett Wilkie. It's tough competition to win those sort of awards against those sort of elite bowlers, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's always hard. Um, you know, a lot of us have good, good years year in, year out. So, um, you know, Brett had another great year, as he always does. So, um, you know, just to pip him over the line, it was good. But, uh, yeah, congratulations to him also. We're here at Bendigo for the Australian Sides Championships. Uh, you've started off well for New South Wales. Um, this is a great event where eight states come to play and uh, there's some good camaraderie and, uh, and team and shit and some, some pretty special bowls being played as well. Yeah, definitely. It's always tough to win the Ellie Shield. Um, you know, particularly now, a lot of the states are improving um, over the board. So, you know, there's probably four or five main chances, but uh, every game's tough. So. Uh, hopefully we've started well, but um, yeah, hopefully we can continue in, in that fashion. Talk us through your first match today uh, in terms of how it unfolded. Yeah, we played NT, so um, you know they're they're one of the improvers. So uh, you know one game still going at the moment, but uh, we're going to have a comfortable win. Um, we got WA this afternoon, so it's it's always going to be tough against those sort of states. And uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Uh, change of colours for you though now playing for New South Wales, still live on the Gold Coast and uh, you've been a Maroon for a long, long time. How's it feel wearing the, uh, the double blues? Yeah, to be honest, it's, it's really good. A lot of my closest mates are in the New South Wales team, so um, I, I guess it's going to be a little bit strange when I do come against, up against Queensland, but um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it and, and looking forward to it. And playing for St John's Park down there, uh, how has the chain sort of uh, been for you? Yeah, fantastic. It's it's obviously a powerhouse club. Um, you know, financially, you know, they're going really well, and uh, we've got a lot of great players there. So I'm really enjoying it. Um, you know, but I'm also a member at Broadbeach up on the Gold Coast. So um, yeah, both clubs are really looking after me, and yeah, it's great. Kelvin, back after a little break wearing this uh, Queensland Maroon jumper, how does it feel? Yeah, fantastic. Uh, great to be back in the, in the Maroons jumper after two years. I've uh, been on the sideline as an Australian selector, and now I can play. So that's a bonus. Uh, Really looking forward to the week. Uh, great three days ahead. Uh, Queensland are off to a great start as well, or the men anyway. The, I know the ladies had a bit of a disappointment this morning against the ACT girls, but uh, in the men we won on all three rinks. So great effort and obviously, uh, you know, plenty of, uh, what do you say, team spirit amongst the boys. Uh, they've welcomed me back with wide arms and hopefully I can give them some goods throughout the week as well. So looking forward to it. On that, this is known as the state versus state. You know, the the ultimate rivalry in state competition. It's a great feel when the sides get together and spend, you know, a week here in Bendigo. Yeah, terrific. And the greens are fantastic. I mean, you couldn't get better greens. I think they're absolutely perfect. There's no excuses this week for any team, I think. Uh, perfect conditions. There's no wind as well. So, you know, it's great to get around and play all the other states. And uh, I know everyone's after Queensland as defending champions and the men from last year. And uh, just looking forward to the week in general. How was your form personally? Yeah, listen, got away with a good win in the first game. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way the form's going. 
you said you started well on the green, off the green during the week. Uh, well for you as well. You were, you were, you were given your Hall of Fame induction, I suppose, presentation on Saturday night here in Bendigo after being inducted in 2011. What a great honour. Yeah, an absolute honour. Very thrilled, of course, uh, to, to accept that. And, uh, you know, I'll take that with uh, heart and soul. Uh, terrific to be honoured in that way. And, uh, listen, I love the game of lawn bowls and uh, it's terrific to be involved. Sean, the Australian side championships has started off well for you personally and for your team. The Queensland boys have uh, swept the pool this morning. Mm -hmm. How'd you find it out here? Oh, it was a great start to the event. Um, my first uh, game for the men's side, so it's good to get off with a win. And your own form personally? Uh, I wasn't too bad. Um, put in my bit where I could. <laughs> The Australian side is a great opportunity for uh, for each state to, to get together and there's 12 men, 12 women playing. The teammanship and the, the ability to get together and spend a week away is, is really important and good fun. Yeah, and no, um, just spending time with the team and bonding's good, you know, um, getting to know everyone and new faces and that. So It's the start of uh, 2013, 2012 was a good year for you and Saturday night here in Bendigo you were awarded the under 18 male bowl of the year. Um, tell us what that meant to you. Oh, that was huge. It was just the best way it could have ended. Um, such a great year during the year in 2012, so it was good to finish it off with that. So. What, was, what was one of the highlights? Um, one of the highlights was been Junior Nugget. Junior Nugget singles is always a prestigious event in the under-18s, so it's good to win that one. And, and you're up against David Downey, who you know quite well through uh, through playing uh, state bowls. Um, someone who was always going to be hard to beat, so you must have had a really good year. Yeah, no, I won a, won a couple of big titles, so it helped. And, um, yeah, David himself had a great year as well, so was happy with the result. And, yeah.